All right, everyone, the problem says the typical atmospheric pressure on top of Mount Everest, which is 29,028 feet elevation, is about 265 torr. Convert this pressure to atmospheres, pascals, pounds per square inch, and bars. So this is a pressure conversion problem where we are starting with 265 torr, and we're gonna convert that pressure to four other pressures, each with different units. So in each case, we're gonna start with 265 torr, and we're gonna multiply by a conversion factor, and that will get us to the unit we desire. So in this first instance, we are wanting to convert to atmospheres. So for our conversion factor, we need the relationship between these two units, tor and atmospheres. So we're going to use the relationship that 760 tor is equal to 1 atmosphere. And that is what we will put in our conversion factor. Since we're starting with tor here, tor is going to go on the bottom so that it cancels out. And since we want to end up with atmospheres, atmospheres will go on top. What is our relationship? Well, 760 tor is equal to one atmosphere. So this problem is set up. Looking at our units, tor is going to cancel out because it's on top and on bottom, and we will be left with the unit of atmospheres. So now we can do the math. Let's get our calculator. We're gonna start with 265. And we're multiplying by fractions. So we're going to multiply by the top, divide by the bottom, and we can skip ones because they won't change our answer because multiplying or dividing by one doesn't change it. So we can skip the multiply by one and just divide by 760. Hit enter on our calculator and we get 0 0.348 with some more digits. Let's round that to 0 0.349. So 0 0.349 atmospheres is equal to 265 torr. All right, next one we are looking at, again, starting with 265 torr, multiplying by a conversion factor, and that will get us to so many pascals. PA is our symbol for that. Write the A a little better. Okay, so what's the relationship between Tor and Pascals? Well, 760 Tor is equal to 1.01325 times 10 to the fifth Pascals. So we will again have Tor as the unit on bottom of our conversion factor, but this time we'll, we will have Pascals on top, and then we will use that relationship we just stated where 760 Tor is equal to 1.01325 times 10 to the fifth pascals. Looking at our units, tor will again cancel out and we are left with pascals. So we can do the math. Let's get our calculator. We are again starting with 265, multiplying by the top, dividing by the bottom of our conversion factor. So we will multiply by 1.01325 times 10 to the fifth power. Let's make sure you're off your exponent on your calculator. And then we will divide by 760. Hit enter. And our calculator gives us this for an answer. Let's round to three significant figures and that would be 35,300. So 35,300. Okay, two down, two more to go. Again, 265 tor, multiply by a conversion factor, and we are looking for, in this example, PSI. So PSI for our unit we want. What relationship exists between PSI and TOR? 
Well, again, 760 Tor, we keep using that same amount there, is equal to 14.7 PSI. So Tor goes on the bottom, PSI goes on top, 760 Tor, 14.7 PSI. Looking at our units, Tor cancels out, and we're left with PSI. So now we can do the math. Getting our calculator, we will start with 265, multiply by 14.7, and divide by 760. Enter, we get 5.125 and some more past that. Let's round to three significant figures, and we get 5.13. So 5.13 PSI. All right, final one. 265 Tor, multiplying by our conversion factor to get to the unit of bar. So for our relationship, 760 Tor is equal to 1.01325 bar. So for our conversion factor, Tor is on the bottom, 760 Tor, and bar will be on top. 1.01325 bar and our unit of tor will cancel and we will be left with bars so now we can do the math here so if we get our calculator for the last time we are starting with 265 we will multiply by 1.01325 and we will divide by 760, hit equals. And let's round this to, again, three significant figures. We would get 0 0.353, so 0 0.353. All right, so final answer. The atmospheric pressure at the top of Mount Everest is 265 Tor, converting that to atmospheres, pascals, PSI, and bars, we would get 0 0.349 atmospheres, 35,300 pascals, 5.13 PSI, and 0 0.353 bars. All right, if you want to see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos, and thank you, thank you so much for watching.